So, um, we're going to do the same technique, uh, this time with a knife, Tonto. We are in uh, Yoshikana Kido, we train with Tonto, which is a wooden knife. Um, many of our techniques can be used from, from similar attacks. Uh, just as you train, as you get better, you get the right feeling for wh what to use when. Okay? Um, so today we're going to do it from a knife attack. Okay? So the person's going to come in. If someone's holding a knife like this, you need to be worried because it's a knife, but maybe not as worried as someone who's protecting the knife from you. Okay? So, someone who's got the knife back, decide to put the knife back there. They're ready to stab you, but they can also protect their own weapon. So that's probably someone who you want to worry a little bit more about than someone who's waving the rifle around. Not to say that someone who's waving a uh, knife around uh, is something to, to laugh at. Okay, you shouldn't laugh at that. Uh, but the knife that's protected, the weapon that's protected, is more dangerous. Okay, so he's going to be trying to today in this example, he's going to try and stab. Okay. Okay, there's the pin, there's the knife. Okay, now, we slow that down, well, I'm not going to slow it down again, but part of what I wanted to show is that, in, in many, many uh, Aikido videos I've seen, as soon as that first attack comes in, the person seems to magically uh, get the perfect grab. That's not going to happen, and in a self-defense situation, you want to be trained for what the important part is. The most important part is not to get hit by the knife. Okay? So, if someone's coming and stabbing, okay, that's the most important part. Two or three things, really, we're going to try and do at once. One, we're going to get our bodies out of the way. Two, we're going to help make sure that knife is nowhere near our bodies, nowhere near cutting us. Three, we want to trap, so now he's not got free range to do whatever he wants with the knife. I've got a control of his wrist, and we want to we want to start hitting and stunning, and hopefully knocking him out. Okay, if he doesn't fall down from that attack, then we can go into our our defense, our defensive move. One more time. strong guy okay and if they start to some people can be very flexible you can always start to lift up on fingers and elbows just to make sure they realize that's a mistake and you can start 